is the Hammer Fisting Podcast. Did you guys read the article on MMAfighting.com about Eddie Alvarez? Negative. It's interesting. I'll read, no. I'll read the title. It was part of their morning report series, and it was titled, Eddie Alvarez on Conor McGregor Loss. And in his quote, there's a freedom in having your worst nightmare come true. And that was his worst nightmare. Eddie Alvarez, yeah. he's no spring chicken. He's fought all over the world. He's fought some of the best guys at 155. And you know, he's a well-rounded mixed martial artist. At UFC 205 back in November, he just looked like a fish out of water. Like It, it was basically as if Conor McGregor was fighting an amateur. Everything that Eddie Alvarez said he was going to do, he didn't do. I don't know if it was a brain fart, but we've seen fighters on the big stage have these mental lapses. And when you lose in such devastating and embarrassing fashion, it never bodes well. And a lot of times, even if guys lose via decision, it doesn't bode well. It, the, the, to have the title and then have to come back from just a loss of losing that title... On the stage that Eddie Alvarez lost his title, which was at Madison Square Garden, arguably the biggest fight in the history of the promotion. I don't know. I think that this is him just trying to start the mental men to get himself back to thinking that he's the baddest man on the planet. But I don't think I, I think that this is self-deception at its at its uh, best. Yeah. Hmm. Anyone? <laughs> the fuck is this a show? Or I I kind of wanted to see what Tinkle did first. <laughs> Because I, I knew no, he dude, didn't. It's, it's I knew worst, he didn't I think. Mean, I, mean, I mean, we've like we've like talked about it a bunch already. I, I think that he. It's like uh, I think he just had a bad night, dude. And I think, um, you know, he uh, there. A lot of people didn't know why he was the one that was getting the getting the thing. A lot of things that he was saying about Connor, which are the arguments that I have also about how he's kind of like he's he's this manufactured thing, and he said all this shit, and then he just got, you know, he got fucking hornswoggled, dude. You put, it's embarrassing, man. You put it the funniest way possible, too. You're like, he said he was going to do all these things. He did not one of them. It's like, yeah, he really did. I just have the biggest fucking flop in UFC history. Yeah, I'll hear, The only it, thing he did was he fucking showed up, dude. Yeah. And even that he maybe could not I, have done. I guess. Yeah. I guess that counts for something. Here's the quote. It's kind of lengthy, but it is interesting. Um, and it was, I got to give credit to my boy, Luke Thomas. It was on the Luke Thomas show. Eddie Alvarez said, I think there's a freedom in having your worst nightmare come true. As a fighter, your worst nightmare is to get knocked out in front of millions of people. That's like dreaming of waking up naked in your classroom. That's actually a good analogy. So getting that out of the way, there's a freedom in it for me. I never thought it would happen. I never pictured it or visualized it ever happening to me, and it happened. I realized after it happened, nothing changed. Nothing changed. My family's still here. My friends are still here. I'm still the same person. Everybody just wants to fight again and do well again nothing really changed so there's a freedom in it and if you haven't experienced it then you won't be able to feel the freedom that i have right now see that's kind of a dumb way to end it because that's like saying well there's a freedom in getting in a car accident and being you know pulled up in a hospital bed just in a full body cast because then you realize how awesome it is to be able to go out in the real world and actually walk around and not have to get fed through a fucking straw right i mean you don't ever want to get knocked out in front of millions of people. I don't see a freedom in it. I can't imagine you would, no. But, 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 but did, did you see it? Um, I think what he's saying is like the freedom. There's like a freedom in like being at zero and starting. Yeah, yeah at bottom. I was like, I was. Again, yeah. So I think that's what he's talking about. And in and, and like yeah. that regard, I mean, everything he does from now on is going to be better than that. Because that was pretty bad, dude. Yeah. I mean. Biggest stage. Knocked dead. Look like a fucking chump. It's it's. And then he comes up with this, like you know, there's, there's some freedom in having a terminal illness. Like, no, there isn't, Eddie. It's that's <laughs> that sounds terrible. I wouldn't. I would never want to have that ever. That's what I mean. I'd I, much rather get knocked out in front of eighteen thousand people and millions at home. Maybe he just worded it the wrong way. And if he put it like, look, I went through it, and now that I've experienced that, at least if I do get knocked out in front of hundreds of thousands of people, it can never be as bad as millions of people. This is what we were talking about either the last show or the show before that. This is from a psychological standpoint. If you're a sports psychologist, this is fascinating because we were, we were mentioning this, how a fighter, when it comes to muscle memory, the reason they train in the gym and they hit the pads and they do all these drills is because they want to get to a point where if they get kicked or punched in the head and they have to go on autopilot, their body will be able to take over because we've had 
instances with like the the Gaddy Ward fight where Mickey Ward said that there was fights where he didn't even know he was fighting for like four or five rounds. He just doesn't even remember them, and he was and he re- would watch it and be amazed how his body was operating on autopilot. This is the psychological side of things where fighters have to kind of come to grips with a a horrible and embarrassing loss. And I think this is Eddie's brain, the part of his brain that's doing damage control to mentally prepare him to get back to having the confidence he had when he was champion. But I just feel like that's too traumatic of an event to come back from. I'm not saying he's not going to beat Dustin Poirier. I'm not saying he's not going to win ever again. But... As long as Conor McGregor has the belt, it's going to be very difficult for Eddie Alvarez to get over that mental hump.